When my son first noticed a Super Mario Odyssey, he noticed two things. One, it's Super Mario, and two, there's moons involved. So I had to get him Super Mario Odyssey, and I got it on the chip format so that I could save the memory on my hard drive on my Nintendo Switch. So the first thing I want to point out with Super Mario Odyssey is that if you need to take a little break and go get yourself a snack first, don't worry, Mario will be here when you're gone. So in gameplay mode, after some inactivity, Mario decides to take a little power nap. And what ends up happening is when you reactivate your remote by moving the sensor, he gets up and he's on the go again. So the quality of the footage is recorded by my camera, but don't let that shake you because the quality of the game is excellent footage. Here you can see that there's online mode, so I like that a lot about this Super Mario game. The goal of this game is to collect the power moons. This way you can travel across the galaxy so that of course, in the end, you can conquer Bowser. Like other Super Mario games, you can choose which world that you want to set to after you have opened them up by getting enough power moons. So it does allow enough flexibility to choose different locations that you can go to. And what I like about this game is there's quite a lot of these worlds to choose from. Now, I'll admit, I do like Mario Odyssey, but it's not the top ranking video game for me, just because the style is different than traditional Super Mario games. But this game is without a doubt still super fun for your kid to enjoy. Look at this, Mario's on a scooter, scootering through the city. You can't get that with any other Mario game. 